Okay, guys, next lab, lab number two, is a single acting cylinder controlled by a 3-2 valve, but this time the 3-2 valve is going to be normally open. Okay, it says single acting cylinder is to extend immediately once the air is applied to the circuit. Once the push button is pressed, the cylinder is going to retract. So it's going to be the opposite logic of lab number one. As long as the push button is pressed, the cylinder is to remain in the retracted position. Once the push button is released, the cylinder is to return to the extended position. Okay, we're going to do this guy on both the fluid sim and the training boards. Uh, I don't have a normally open push button to use, uh, so we're going to use the selector switch to simulate the normally open valve. All right, so let's grab all our components for this fluid sim. We'll drop in our compressor. Then we need a single acting cylinder, just like before. And what do we need? We need a normally open 3-2 uh, valve. So it looks like this guy right here is what we're looking for. So normally open, meaning that it's normally open to the passage of air. Just gonna move this guy over so it matches. And we can hook this guy up. Green to green, let it go, click. Bring it up to you see green, let go of the mouse button. It will click in as well. Okay, and then the next thing we're gonna do, now you can double check everything before uh, you go for, forwards, but when you hit the play button, it's gonna tell you whether you've missed any of your connections anyways. Excellent. Okay, so we were looking for a circuit that as soon as we put the air to it, then it was going to extend, which is what this simulation is doing. Air is going straight through. It's normally open to the passage of air, and so that is going up and then extending our cylinder. If we press this push button, we should get the opposite, meaning that this position will cycle over, and now any air that was inside of the, the actuator is now able to uh, exhaust from two to three. Okay, again, if you want to hold this down, you hit the shift, then you click, and you can see that the spring has pushed this back. There's no longer any air being applied to the cylinder, and so the spring pushes back and exhausts the air from two to three. Excellent. Everything else is the same. Port number one is our supply. Port number two is going to the actuator. Port number three is the exhaust. These guys over here correspond to the exact same ports. One, two, and three. If I hit the shift button and move it over, you can see that that moves to position one, position two, and port number three. All right, guys, let's see how this works when we actually hook it up. Lab number two is just as simple as lab number one. But again, we're going from uh, a normally closed push button in that it was normally closed to the passage of air. Right? Once we press this, then it actually opens and allows that air to travel through. So the opposite of what an electrical normally closed would mean. Right? It's normally closed to the passage of air. Lab number two is supposed to be there for a normally open. Well, we don't have a normally open switch, so we're going to make use of the selector switch. The selector switch is a maintained switch, so whichever position we place it in, it will be maintained in that position. And if it's normally open to the passage of air, well then, it's open to the passage of air, that air goes to the cylinder and it gives us the reverse logic in that when I let go of the selector switch, then this guy just retracts. The way that it retracts is again, there's a spring in here to exhaust this air out. This air needs a path in order to exhaust and it comes out here from two and exhausts out of three. All right guys, lab number two is done.